What did you learn from that, like, Khabib fight in Abu Dhabi and that whole experience? I think that was, I don't know if that was the first fight I ever went to, but that was really cool to go to yeah, that it was, fight and the whole thing. It was awesome. I mean, um. Yeah, we were in the hotel room next to him. We I were? Think. Yeah, I think we were like, didn't they put you right on our floor? I, uh, again, my, pro- I don't, I don't notice a lot of things during these weeks. Well, you had to hear the loud music bumping in the. I don't think you were that close to me then. Okay. All right. No. Nobody woke, well, I mean, there was, I was 13 hour difference. Yeah. There was no sleep. Um, yeah, it was a, it was an experience, you know, great learning experience. But if you're a creature of habit, you were fucked in Abu Dhabi. You know, the food is different. The culture represents different food, different water, different time zone. And so all those were factors. Um, they all sound like excuses. But yeah, it was different. And then uh, his why that night was absolutely huge you know with the passing of his father him having the knowledge that it was going to be his last fight he was almost impossible to beat that night and that was there was no crowd there at that point right no, no crowd. crowd so what do you think minimal, that, minimal crowd yeah you guys were there there's, bob wasn't there i wasn't there i had my father had a oh, yeah, brutal eye infection his his father had almost didn't guy. make it out but he's he's all be, he's all better now thank god god rest yeah you're a terrible liar i know i know <laughs> Got a little spooked out there you know but Anyways, at the end of the day. But do you think we're having a crowd because fighting, you know, with no crowd and then crowd. Yeah, my the- first experience without a crowd was Tony Ferguson. And that was the first event back when they shut everything down for COVID. UFC brought us back to Jacksonville. And I never understood if I was influenced by outside sources in the in the arena. And after that fight, I understood that I was and that I can control it. So now, like in the Chandler fight, you never saw me. Even when he was hurt, I didn't come out of my shell and take risks that I didn't need to take. And I think that comes from the learning experience of the Tony Ferguson fight. Without that, I don't think I would ever understand or have the knowledge if or when I'm influenced by outside sources. Who would you say the toughest opponent is that you ever faced? Khabib. Yeah, him. You know, but what was it like fighting him? Like, what was like I said, so I mean, tough I about was, him? Uh, I was out of my comfort zone. Uh, every time when I fought Michael Chandler, when I fought Tony Ferguson... The morning I woke up, my heart rate was around between 33 and like 36. And the morning I woke up in Abu Dhabi, it was at 68. And when I saw that, I knew something wasn't right. But you cannot. What, what was that from? Just like the, the lack of sleep, the just not being in a, a creature of habit. You know, we have a process that brings me confidence. And it's going to be, you know, the eating, the drinking, and nothing there is the same. You know, they... That was a whole they, like they don't have experience. milk. They don't have milk. They eat goat and lamb and I don't often. You know, they got beef, but the they, they don't got oatmeal, they got porridge. Yeah. Uh you think if the fight was somewhere else you would have but it maybe ended differently? I don't know. No, I can't say so. I can say that I wouldn't I don't know. We'll find out on Saturday. Would you say that he was the best pound for pound fighter in the UFC ever? Ever? You have to break it up into different eras, but certainly in the modern era.